Hey horror fans and TV fans, I'm bored now. On this video I'm going to be talking about the third episode of the first series of the Chucky TV show. The episode is called I Like to Be Hugged. So I will just warn you then I'll be going into full spoilers from the start of this review just in case you're listening and haven't seen the episode yet. Just I've given you the warning now and sadly my regular horror partner Rachel McDonald can't be on this review this week because she's um, got other plans although we will be recording a review together this weekend but she couldn't join me for the Chucky review for the week so I decided to do it solo for this week but she will be back next week doing episode 4 with me um so the this re- this review goes out to Rachel I send it out to my horror tag team partner it's actually a shame I, I think she would enjoy this episode a fair bit partly because there's a bit more of a role for the science teacher who we saw in the first episode who I think we both agreed was one of the best things about that opening episode and Rachel likes her because she appeared in in a web series that she that she really likes called Camilla so she actually features a bit more in this episode we see a couple of short shorter scenes with with her where she, she actually sets up like a mediation between Lexi's parents and between Jake's like obviously his uncle and the people who are are now looking after him to try and sort out the issue between them and at first the mother in particular Lexi's mother just doesn't want to believe that her daughter could do anything wrong and being really sort of snooty so the teacher as it happens has a video of the party went when Lexi did that inappropriate prank dressing up as Jake's dying father and shows the video so that's kind of almost like a gotcha type moment for them and I guess the fact that the teacher initiated this is is like a nice character beat for 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 her it, it actually shows her being quite a progressive like thoughtful character but you get a little bit bit of of her in in this episode so that's good stuff but i will say also this is the best episode of the three by quite some margin i enjoyed this quite a lot and by the end we definitely get full-blown chucky i think which obviously for the fans it is a great thing and i guess if the plot of last week if the arc of the episode last week was Chucky convincing Jake then Lexi's gotta go then she is worth killing the arc of this one is them hatching their plan sort of thing and there's a little bit of persuasion at the beginning we also get the most amount of flashbacks we've had so far for showing the younger Charles Lee Ray and that's effective in itself it's like a nice book in to the episode where early early in the episode Chucky starts telling Jake about his first kill and, and how he became a killer essentially how he sort of got the bug for it and and Chucky's very entertaining in this episode there's at, at various times there's like a voiceover as he's like telling the story about his first kill and and it like builds to the end of the episode where it's revealed which is is a nice nice little reveal but also Chucky just giving like Jake this sort of check training advice when when he's sort of giving him pointers of, of how to go about killing somebody and there's a scene where he's like supposed to kill Lexi when she's out for a run and he's got like a knife and and it turns out conveniently then it's not Lexi it's Junior because Lexi is like he's out running in like identical like jogging outfit to what Lexi would be and 
So you, you get a couple fake outs in this episode with Jake where he appears to be about to kill Lexi but then something gets in the way. There's there's another scene later in like a garage. But that's sort of the arc of the, of the episode and obviously Chucky's like getting on him for, for chickening out and wimping out and what it leads to is then... Their plan is finally then. Then Jake gives Lexi Chucky and gives him for her sister Caroline because again, this is all sort of random and and doesn't make a lot of sense. But Caroline, we find out, is obsessed with Chucky in the episode, and I guess that's because of the whole talent show thing. Everyone seems to love Chucky as a result for that. Doesn't really add up, doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's obviously a contrived plot to to get us to the point where we are at the end of, of the episode. So what happens is Lexi gives this sort of half-hearted apology to Jake, which again, you kind of have to go with, and I think... Once again, they are doing the thing in this episode where Lexi, they're sort of painting her as a little bit more sympathetic, which, again, I find a bit annoying because it's like either make her a form bitch or don't, you know, don't do this odd mis- mismatch. But anyway, she gives Jake this half-hearted apology, and it looks like Junior has sort of put her up to this, but again, you have to question that sort of logic, like, like would she really, um, because there's nothing really to indicate that she, she loves Junior, no, not really, but I, I think we're meant to think it is for, for the sake of, of the, um, of her sister because her sister's been kicking up a fuss and and obviously maybe peer present pressure from sorry pressure from her parents if i can get it out and so maybe a mix of the two maybe junior sort of asking her to apologize to him and then the stuff with the sister so at first jake doesn't want to do it because you know, hey, I guess he's still nervous about unleashing Chucky on the world. But finally, I think he, he's convinced to, to do it. And and it's sort of Chucky's mastermind plan, I guess. Then that's how the kill's going to go down. Now, to pick a little bit of a hole in this, I think it may be... <laughs> I don't know, it maybe underscores the thing with Jake. I mean, if you're going to go down the road of Jake turns into a psycho as a result of Chucky, then maybe you sort of want him killing Lexi or or trying to kill her, but it's possible they, they don't want to go full on with that because at the end of the day, Chucky is the villain of the show and maybe they feel it it might sort of you know weaken jake as a sympathetic character but that's the plan they go with then he obviously hands her over or hands chucky over to lexi and it leads to like because they're having this party at lexi's house when the parents are at like this mediation meeting at the school and it's this weird sort of party where they all seem to have like headphones on and they're like dancing and it's again a little bit contrived because really it's a reason for them not to hear what's going on upstairs when when Chucky is like working his magic but there's there's a lot of fun stuff in this episode there's a lot of fun like Chucky stuff there's some good stuff with him and with Lexi's sister Caroline. I think because you've got this younger character now who's obviously seems to love Chucky and is like naive to what he really is and is kind of saying things like, oh, he likes a hug and you've got Lexi who like reluctantly hugs him for the sister. I think some of that stuff is really good because it gets back to what Chucky was, like the core sort of concept in Child's Play. 
the original film where obviously Andy was of an age where he was quite naive to this stuff and it's sort of one of these things you have to run with as well because obviously you have Chucky talking to Caroline and obviously saying stuff with which goes a, a bit beyond just the generic like lines you would have from from a good guy doll but but anyway she she's a young girl you know maybe has issues so doesn't fully grasp what's going on but there's some fun stuff with chucky in the house one thing i didn't quite get about the party is the devon's there and as far as i knew he has no friendship with lexi and it sort of feels like the sort of character who she would like frown upon anyway in in her sort of snobby type way um but they actually seem to get on like they dance at one point and the other thing is like you you would you would have thought then devon would be like screw her sort of thing because of the way she's treated jake but he's there at the party anyway i mean maybe he thinks that she's turning over a new leaf i don't know but Anyway, there's a bunch of people, and there's still some typical teen soapy drama because there's an there's another guy who Lexi's like dancing with, and Junior sees him and seems to be like she's actually like flirting with him more than just like having a dance, and and this is sort of paid off because I think Junior is is meant to be quite a sympathetic character so he's obviously jealous of of Lexi and this other guy and so later on the other guy the other teen is is brutally killed because Chucky escapes at one point and this is one of the classic lines where where he actually says snug as a fucking bug because that's something Lexi says when she's like tucking in um caroline and and t- tucking in chucky i guess but snug as a fucking bug and then he says i'm gonna kill your fucking sister <laughs> want to come along and, and and she's like no and okay you snooze you lose and so he goes off but then there's this whole thing where the other guy pops out of nowhere and Chucky thinks it's Lexi and I think he stabs him anyway by mistake and at that point he's, he realises he's sort of in over his head so he, he's got to finish the job so you get this sort of like co- juxtaposed type thing of him stabbing away at this other guy and then contrast with we start to get more from the past where we see that Chucky actually walked in on his father being stabbed by this guy so those two shots are like lined up quite quite nicely done there's there's definitely some some good direction again in this episode and then we follow it along that him and his mother like ran upstairs to hide in a closet and anyway back back at the party yeah he, he finally gets to Lexi because she's like on her own at one point and she's high and not, again the whole gag is that they've got their headsets on downstairs dancing so they're sort of oblivious to what's going on in in the house and it's at this point where, where it sort of goes full blown Chucky because <laughs> we hear the sadistic entertaining laugh, the, the classic like cackling Chucky laugh and he, I don't know if it a hundred percent confirms that he kills Lexi, but it certainly looks like he does. He starts strangling her <laughs> with that laugh, and, and then he he's got the knife out. He sets the room on fire, and so it appears as though the job has been done, and then Lexi has been killed, and. I sort of suspected that they might drag this out for another episode at least, but it appears as though the deed has been done, and now it's going to be about the fallout because 
as I said, the episode is like nicely bookend with the story about his Chucky's first kill, or Charles Lee Ray first kill, and we have Jake at like the graveyard of of Charles Lee Ray, and the twist of the episode in the past is the um, Lexi, sorry, not not Lexi, um, but. Charles Lee Ray actually killed his mother and that was his first kill so they're hiding in the closet and and you know the killer is like looking for them and I guess there's a way I, I, I mean I'm not quite sure why he would do it this anyway but I guess there's a way to maybe save himself he kills the mother in, in the closet as a way to like impress the killer or or I guess just psychologically unstable. I I know you're not 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 meant to think that much about this stuff. But anyway, that's the twist. And he actually killed his own mother. And the killer says, "Ah, oh, you know, you've got guts. I'm kind of impressed." And and actually, they come up with a plan to to sort of make it look good, sort of thing, and and not incriminate either one of them. But Anyway, that's the twist, and and I like the way they do it, and and it's a nice bookend to the episode, like I said. I think the only sort of nitpick I have with this sort of stuff and the origin stuff is then maybe it does that sort of thing of, like, giving Chucky too much of a backstory or, or too much of a, like, motivation... Um, but you know it's a TV show and stuff so it, it obviously makes sense and they're maybe going to do a bit more with this stuff and and obviously they did this stuff in the film as well they, it did become more about Chucky's past and, and on honestly that, that's an interesting way for them to go so that's the episode and and i enjoyed it it was a a strong episode easily the strongest in my opinion by the end we definitely got full on chucky and the cliffhanger was was interesting it sort of sets up some quite meaty stuff for jake i think because by the end it's it's implied that he like realizes that then he's probably like made a mistake you know oh no what have I done sort of thing so there's definitely going to be some sort of conflict I think between Chucky and Jake in the next episode so mostly it's not it's not perfect there's definitely down points once again but yeah no I enjoyed this one I'm much more pleased with this one than I was the first two so let's hope it continues So that's my thoughts on episode 3 of the Chucky TV show. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. Share me out on social media. You can also ding the bell on YouTube. And check me out on Twitter for regular channel updates. So Keith Beard on Twitter if you want more updates for the channel and of course as i said rachel will be back with me next week for the episode four review of chucky and um yeah that's about it but as we reach the end of october look out for more from me and rachel on the channel look out for our first top 10 list which is exciting that should be out in the coming days And look out for more horror movie reviews and live streams. But thanks for listening and goodbye.